Welcome everyone. I'm Kimberly Boschman, and this is the Intentionally Intuitive Podcast. In this episode, we're going to take a look at the uh, forecast for this new moon that's going to be occurring on May 7th or 8th, depending on where you live in the world. Before we get into the forecast for each life path number, just know that this is, of course, a general forecast. If you would like your own personal forecast or your own personal numerology reading, please book some time with me. My information is in the description box below, and I would love to work with you. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at each life path number and what to expect with this illumination for this upcoming new moon. Life path number two, you all are going to be working with the energies of the four and the five. So there's definitely something here that maybe some area of your life has felt too rigid, too confining, too mundane. And this energy is asking you to break free, to find a better way to express yourself, to, you know, show up to greater, you know, to your projects, to your relationships, whatever the case may be. There's something here that's saying, don't lose your sense of autonomy and independence when it comes to work, when it comes to relationships. There's some area where you've felt maybe confined or fenced in that this energy is pushing you to make some changes and some modifications and to get serious about those changes and modifications to open you up to greater experiences that are much more aligned with the direction that you want to be moving in. And in order to do this, it's going to require um, taking action, right? Getting serious about it, getting focused, focusing your energy on whatever this is and understanding that you may not see instant gratifications with whatever this is, but to not give up too quickly, right? When we have a four cycle, whatever we commit to under that cycle is going to require time and dedication and perseverance and to overcome some significant challenges in order to get to the other side and in order to break free. So if there's some area of your life where you have felt overly like smothered or like you're just not on the path that feels the most aligned for you, this is going to be a time for you. This is going to be sort of that wake up call, right? Where it says, you know, the only one who can really truly make a difference in your life is you. <clears throat> and so <clears throat> if you want to change the experience, if you want to modify, you know, your whatever it is that you're, you continue to show up to, whatever it is that you continue to build, you have to make some changes. And this energy will help you to do that. The four is foundational, right? It helps us to build a strong foundation. It helps us to remove those fault lines, right? Whatever's not working, it helps us to get in there, clean it up and make sure that we're building something solid. And the five allows us to think more progressively with an open mind with, you know, thinking outside of the box and, and seeing things from a bigger perspective. And so that allows us to, you know, make changes, but changes that are aligned with, again, the direction that we want to be moving towards. It's not so much about our decisions and, you know, the weight that we put on those decisions. It's more about do our decisions help to push us in the direction that we want to be moving in towards. If it doesn't, or, or if they don't, we need to make other decisions, right? That do help us to get to where we're trying to get to. So let's say if you, I don't know, want to have children, then, but you're, you know, you're not really like on the path for having children, um, whether it's having your own children or you adopting or whatever the case may be, um, then this energy will come in and say, this is a, this is something, you know, that you want. So you have to start to get serious about it and start planning and, you know, creating that pathway to make it happen, whatever, however that looks for you. Um, and that's just a, I don't know where that example came from, but that's, you know, again, just an example. It can be really, truly any area of your life where it is that you need some redirection, need to get serious about the path that you want to be on and, uh, and yeah, committing to that and then seeing it through to completion. There's definitely a lot here about, um, you know, experiencing life with all your senses and truly, truly, um, getting serious about creating the life that you want, that brings you joy, that brings you happiness, that fulfills you. Uh, so, you know, just beautiful energy here. So if there's something that you've wanted to create or put your creative juices towards, 
This is such a great time to do that. Such a great time. Just know it likely won't happen quickly and it likely won't, you will, you likely won't see the instant gratification right away. This is something that's going to require time, persistence, dedication, and patience. So make sure you pack your patience for this, this next journey here and you will see results. And those results will be in direct proportion to the effort you put forth. So keep that in mind. I hope it's a great new moon, everyone. Take care. Bye for now.